Wonderful. All right, Zachary, the first thing I heard was that you initially had turned on this role. Is that true, and why did you do that? Well, I didn't, no, I said, okay. So I didn't turn <laughs> I didn't turn down the role. It wasn't like somebody, I wasn't getting like a call saying, we'd love for you to play this role, and I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm busy. <laughs> uh, I was given an audition slip to audition for the role of Shazam in the movie, and I knew at that point that uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, which is, I believe, his full technical name, uh, was already cast as Black Adam, and Black Adam is supposed to be kind of like the yin to Captain Marvel's Shazam's yang, right? They're supposed to look almost identical, just slightly different color scheme. They have different stylists. Uh, so I was like, I don't know. I don't think I have a chance at getting this job because I'm not anywhere near as big as The Rock physically or uh, in popularity. So I thought I would be wasting everybody's time. And I turned down the audition, not the role. And then it came back around. Then it was there was another role in the film and it was a supporting role and they said what about this one and i said oh i'd 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 be happy to put myself on tape for that and i did and then they saw that and they said actually you could really be our shazam and i was like this is crazy and then i auditioned for that and then i got the job and here we are wait, and wait, wait, wait what what character did you audition for for i can't oh mm. then we'll go to the next question <laughs> <laughs> now you know as kids you always play Superheroes, you daydream in school as far as like who you would be, which power you would have. Mm -hmm. You know, when you guys were, you know, growing up or even probably still, did you guys have a favorite, you know, superhero that you guys idolized or wish you yeah. could you could be? For sure. Batman, for sure. I, I I've had, uh, I think I've been through about six or seven Batman costumes. Uh, I'm wearing one right now under this. <laughs> I'm like that obsessed. <laughs> no, um, but I also have like countless uh, uh, like uh, action figures and comic books of Batman. I'm thoroughly obsessed. Yeah. I'm thoroughly obsessed. <laughs> what about you? What are the actors? Superman. Yeah. I mean, dressing up for Halloween every year as Superman, putting on shows for my family as Superman. Uh, Aww. Yeah. Me and my little, little with my little kid, my under little, my little underwear, red <laughs> underwear, <laughs> flying Underus. around the house, Underus. Underus. Yeah. Underus. Underus. flying around the house, pretending I'm, I'm the Superman. real Superman. Look at the pet legs. Hey, look at me. I'm Superman. <laughs> Hi, mom. No. Yeah, Superman. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I, I would say, I don't know, I was a big, like, X-Men kind of kid, so, uh, Gambit and, uh, oh, Deadpool, actually, I was a real big Deadpool fan, and then, you know, Ryan, Ryan went and did, did a lot of justice to that movie and that, and that role, so I, that was, uh, that was very cool, but I loved, uh, how Deadpool was kind of like a ninja, but what had, like, you know, it was like a funny ninja mm -hmm. with two katana blades and machine guns and could teleport. You ever the video games? Deadpool? What? There's, There's a video, video game? game? You never played that? No. It was on Xbox 360 only. It's so cool. Oh, no. Deadpool. I have to look into it. You guys got to look into that. Um, so when I was growing up, you know, three of the big movies that I love were, you know, Ghostbusters, Goonies, Big, and this movie's getting compared to that. I mean, it's been 30 years yeah, plus, you know, since that. Yeah. You know, how does it feel to kind of have that same kind of buzz behind this movie? <clears throat> well, as a kid who grew up with those movies, I'm just a little older than these two. Uh, <laughs> it's it's crazy awesome. It's crazy awesome. I, th those are all some of my favorite movies. Uh, Amblin, that whole kind of you know '80s world that we used to be inundated with, with all those great adventure movies, and this feels it definitely has it. It harkens back to that. So it's a, it's a real honor that we're being you know thrown around in that same kind of you know thought. What do you guys think? Yeah. yeah. Were you fans of those movies, too? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, 100%. And, you know, another movie that I was a fan of is I would always tease my sister because it was another one we'd watch. Mm. I'd have the VHS. I'd pause it on Pennywise. So whenever uh, she would turn on the TV, that would be the first thing that she would do. It was so messed up. Stuff. And genius. And genius exactly. at the same time, too. Tell me oh about being part of that um, and, you know, what you could say about, about the next film. Sorry, guys. Um, no, yeah. No, it's okay. <laughs> um, it was really, really fun. Super fun. Um... I I do appear in the second one. I can't say a lot, or I, basically at all. Um, um, but I can say that I'm in it a little bit, a uh, little bit of flashbacks, and um, yeah. And it's really fun. It's gonna it's gonna be great. It's a lot scarier. I can say that. It's a lot scarier. A lot more intense. 